Welcome to Pika. I'm Barnaby Donoghue, an Automotive application Specialist, and I'm going to take you through the guided tests for an inductive crankshaft position sensor with the engine running. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to bring up the tests on PicoScope. So if we go to the Automotive menu and we select our crankshaft sensor and running condition, and we see that PicoScope brings up the test document for you to refer to and also presets the PicoScope with the settings that you need to capture the waveform. Now that's set up, we can connect the scope to the vehicle. So we've got our test lead connected to channel A on the scope. We want to connect onto the signal output from the sensor and connect to a good battery earth. And we've used breakout leads here uh, at a very convenient connector location for this sensor. Okay, now we've got that set up, we just need to run the test. So we can select go on the PicoScope. We either press the space bar or press the go button and then we'll just start the engine. Now we've run the engine. We've got a running waveform signal on the screen, so we can stop that. We've captured that, so we can stop the engine. And now we can compare what we've captured to our reference material in the guided test. So in the guided test, we've got a really handy example waveform, which hopefully our waveform will look like. Beneath that, we've got waveform notes, and that will give you more description of the amplitude and the voltage of the waveform and other features. And below that, if your waveform looks a little bit different, we've got a waveform library where we've gathered waveforms from all over the world, from our users all over the world, and we can compare a waveform to those. And at the end of the test, we've got our further guidance. And our application specialists at Pika Technology have created that material and it'll tell you about the sensors or actuators, the um, other components, the system, um, how it should behave, and all these types of things to help you diagnose your vehicle. So with that, we've captured our waveform. We've got the reference material you need to tell whether it's good or bad, and we're good to go. So thank you for joining us. See you soon.